the failure of Windows Recovery Environment Servicing is due to the insufficient space of the Windows Recovery Partition to accommodate the newly created WinRE image file. So the resolution is simply expand the recovery partition and reapply the update. Method 1. Dispart. By employing the command lines, it is possible to reduce the size of the C partition by 250 megabytes to generate a fresh recovery partition capable of hosting WinRE security updates. Users of this solution should know how to operate command lines. Open a command prompt window as admin. To check the WinRE status, run this command. If the WinRE is installed, there should be a Windows RE location with a path to the WinRE directory. Here, the number after hard disk and partition is the index of the disk and partition that WinRE is on. Now you need to disable the WinRE, run this command. Next, to shrink the OS, run dispart, and run the following commands. This should be the same disk index as WinRE. To check the partition under the OS disk and find the OS partition, run lispart, and run the following commands. This should be the primary partition index. Select the WinRE partition and delete it. Now you need to create a new recovery partition. First, check if the disk partition style is GPT or MBR. Check if there is in star in the GPT column. If there is in star, then the drive is GPT. Otherwise, the drive is MBR. If your disk is GPT, run the following commands. If your disk is MBR, run the following commands. Run the command to re-enable WinRE. Method 2. Use Professional Third-Party Disk Manager. If you're not familiar with Command Prompt Tool, this disk manager is a better option. Next, I'll show you how to use this tool to extend recovery partition. If you find it useful later, please hit the link in the description to try it. Right-click on a partition that has enough storage space and select the Allocate Free Space feature. This feature is available in its Pro Edition. Preset the amount of free space you wish to allocate and choose the recovery partition as the destination. Hit OK. Hit Apply. Proceed to execute the operation. Thanks for watching till here. I'll see you in the next two videos. If you have any questions please leave comments or email us.